Hey, Mill PM. It's Good Friday, and uh, we've all woken up this morning to the news that our lockdown here in South Africa will continue for a further 14 days. Uh, this means that we should now probably all accept that this is the new normal. And as far as church is concerned, this is what church is going to look like for us. Uh, even if the lockdown does uh, officially end at the end of April, I'm guessing there's a high chance that there'll still be a restriction on public gatherings uh, for a period after that. Which really does mean that we can now just settle into a new season of what church looks like. And uh, I'm actually really excited. I don't want to share with you uh, all of my thoughts. I want to keep this video brief. I do have a number of thoughts. But just to share one with you this morning. This is really an amazing opportunity by God's providence for us to establish if we as a community really have been building relationally. We've, we've said a number of times that we don't want to be a group of people that just comes together on a Sunday. We want to be a group of people that are doing life together, a group of people that know each other's stories, a group of people that um, are walking together with each other. And so by God's providence, as our public gatherings have been stripped away, we now have an opportunity to establish whether or not we actually are building relationally. And so I think any community that hasn't been building relationally at this time will now be forced to do that. You either have to adapt or die. And that's, that's the motto for any change. And either we have been building relationally and, and therefore um, this season will actually afford us new opportunities. Or if we haven't been building relationally, now is the time to make the change. And so I just want to appeal to you again this morning to not isolate yourself and to get connected to others in the body of Christ. This is such a great opportunity for us to go deeper with others. Our community groups are remaining to meet virtually and online. And uh, we need to continue to develop and foster friendships in the community and in the body of Christ. And so, yes, the new normal means that we possibly won't be able to have Sunday gatherings as soon as we were hoping. But this is a new opportunity for us to connect with each other, for us to find out how each other is doing. And so as we go into the Easter weekend, I want to encourage you once again, as I did at the start of the lockdown period, to think of others in our community that you can be praying for and to reach out to them and to connect yourself to them. Especially if you're maybe new to the community and you were just doing the Get Connected course or you've been only visiting uh, Mill PM for the, for the first few weeks before the shutdown period started. I'd love to help you find a way to get connected into a community group, to get connected into um, a friendship group of some kind. I've really been enjoying all of your replies back to these messages. So thank you so much. I've been loving the extra community element. And I really just want to encourage each and every one of us to remain relationally connected and to seize the opportunity that is right in front of us. Hope you guys have a great Easter weekend. We celebrate the best news of all time this weekend that Jesus has died for our sins, that we are forgiven and that on Sunday we get to celebrate that Jesus is alive, that he was resurrected and that we have new life in him. So. Enjoy your Easter weekend. Uh, enjoy a few Easter eggs if you get up to that and can't wait to see you again.